Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this simple, basic skull that everybody can do. So to get started, I do have clothes on. As you guys can see, I'm not naked. But we're going to take this Rimmel um, eye pencil and just sketch out where you want your skull. I was taking, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Inspiration from a picture that I'll link down below. But you can take inspiration from really anything, even your own face. So we're going to get started with the, um, these are the Mehron, are they Mehron water? I think they're the Mehron Paradise paints. This is in black, and we're going to black out all the negative space, which is going to be like your eyes, temples. I kept switching back and forth between um, brushes. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to use. But just remember, if this is makeup, and if you're using these, they come off so easy. So you just go back and forth. But anyways, we're putting all this black in the negative space. So your eyes, your temples, where your teeth would go. I kind of blended it down a little bit on my teeth, but you guys, you guys will see that in a minute. Next, I'm just taking a makeup wipe and kind of cleaning up the edges where it went out of the line or I didn't like the way it looked. I wanted it to look a certain way. So just cleaning up those edges and making sure everything looks perfect. And as you see here, I'm sketching out the line around where I wanted my teeth and then blending that down because I didn't know how far back I wanted my teeth to go. And that's the best way to do it. You want this to be pretty symmetrical, but seriously, guys, it's makeup. Like, don't get your panties in a bunch if it's not perfectly matched. Just blend it. Make it look good. And then I'm going to be filling in my nose also. I swear the nose on skulls is what I struggle with most. Like, it used to be teeth, but I feel like my teeth, I can get them, you know, pretty well blended out and looking good. But the nose, I just, I don't know, I just can't do it. It just freaks me out. I mess up every time. I don't like the way it looks. It drives me nuts. But the photo I was taking um, reference from, it had it kind of like, I don't know how to say it. There was like a shadow around, I don't know. You guys will see if you guys look at the picture linked below. But it also had the teeth, that the teeth weren't right on the lips. It almost made it look like the skeleton was kind of open in the teeth. So I'm filling that in with black and I'm going to put my teeth around that. Next I'm going to be going in around my um, like temple area and on my forehead. And this is something that I used to struggle with. Okay, we're just jumping straight to teeth. That's all we do, Courtney? Seriously? All right, so I'll tell you guys what I struggled with later. But with the teeth, I'm just pressing down with my brush, and then I'm going to drag it down with the side of my brush. So press down with the bulk of the brush, and then flick it out to create the tendon or where your teeth would go up into your gum. And just keep doing that. And honestly, when you start shading, it's going to come, to to come together. I used to struggle with this. I never knew how to get my teeth to look that way. But, of course, after watching videos and practicing, it really all comes together. So then I'm going to be taking this Carity uh, Matte Colors, and I'm going to be shading this in. Again, this is what I was trying to tell you guys earlier before I cut myself off. But this is, I used to struggle on the forehead. I never knew how to make it this way. It always looked so stupid when I would do it. But really practicing your shading is really going to get you to like your artwork. I'm telling you that from experience, I never liked my artwork. I never liked the way that it looked. I always, even now, I still see what I could do different or what I could do better. But as you can see here by that smile, I was starting to feel myself and really started to like the way that the skull was coming together. So then just, just creating this little furrow in my brow and then shading that in. And then this is where I'm taking the shading around, like in the picture. I don't know if this was like their inspiration instead of like doing the cracks and stuff. But I just really liked the way that it looked. I thought it looked really neat. And then we'll go back in and highlight with white in a little bit. Now here we're just taking the black body paint and shading around each tooth. You want to kind of create that, where you want to create the separation between the teeth. And then you want to bring it down at the bottom to make it look like it's connecting, like where it would connect into the gum. And I really think if you practiced with that, you're going to like the way your teeth turn out a lot more. At least I know I did. 
But again, it's just makeup. Take it off and try again. I didn't want a white skull either. I really like the way that it was just on the skin. It wasn't too white and it didn't look like fake skull. I don't know. This doesn't obviously look like a real skull, but I don't know. I like the way that it looked on the skin. It looked more natural if that's really even a thing, even though skulls are white. I don't know. But then I'm just going to go back in and fill in the black negative space. Skulls are super self-explanatory. Next, I'm going in with some white on a Q-tip and just kind of making my teeth pop a little bit more. And then going in, filling in my ears black and then around my temples. Then we're going to take some white and kind of highlight in some areas that would get light. Wherever you have a contour, you have a highlight. Wherever there's depth, there's not depth? I don't know. I didn't take art class in high school. Next, I'm going in. I'm going to shade in some of my collarbones and, like, my neck muscles. Then I really didn't like the way it looked, so then we just went ham. And looking back now, okay, my neck looks okay, but it's not, like, how I wanted it, and I wasn't technically pleased with my neck, but... I'll work with it. So just kind of creating almost like a spider web effect on my neck and then going in and shading that with black. You want to shave at kind of your bottom areas and then leave that like your middle part more white. Then shading all of this black around me, it's going to help you blend into the background and really look like a skull. And make sure if you're using this, I had to go back in and set my eyes later with a matte black because it looked like it just cracked and creased. So make sure if you are doing this and wearing this out all night, you are setting your makeup. And I kind of left that little triangle there for the uh, clavicle and the sternum. But as you can see, I cut it off in this final edit because I didn't like the way it looked. But this is the final skull, guys. It's very basic, and I promise you can do it. You could probably even do a better one. But I will see you guys in my next video. I really hope you like this. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your requests below. Be sure to subscribe. I think that's all I have. See you guys.